hello everybody welcome back to my channel this is maria with supreme creations and today i am going to show you how to consecrate a charm of the santa muerte along with the chain so it can protect you when you're wearing it because like i tell everybody just because you buy the bije does not mean that it's going to protect you just because you're wearing it. No, you have to activate it. You have to consecrate it, okay? Okay, so here's what we're gonna need to do this. We need the dije from the Santa Muerte and the chain, and they do have to be silver, okay? We're gonna need a piece of red or black material, three white candles, okay? With no image on them, just the white candles, okay? Okay, the procedure is we are going to do this on a Thursday or a Tuesday or a Tuesday and a, or a Thursday, however you want it. Making sure that we are going to have a full moon like the day after we initiated, okay? Um, the first thing you do is you cleanse it, you wash it with regular tap water or holy water whichever one you prefer it's going to have the same effect but i would prefer to use the holy water okay you wash it really good you cleanse it really good and it's better to do it like i said uh started at noon because we would like to have sun because after we cleanse it really good with the holy water we are going to hang it outside in the sun until it's totally dried out okay totally dried out okay then when it's dried out in the evening we are going to take it like i said and we are going to take a red or a black cloth it has to be cotton okay and we are going to cover it in this cloth okay and we are going to put it up in a dark place like in a closet it has to be in a dark place okay the next day when it's going to be our full moon we are going to take it out okay say like in the evening and we are going to take our white candle and light it we're going to take our cloth with our chain and necklace and we are going to open it up okay and we are going to turn the candle on and we are going to say the prayer that belongs to this uh, ritual to activate the Dije so it can protect us when we wear it, okay? We are going to say the prayer, Oh, Señora Mía, Santísima Muerte, te suplico que siempre me protejas y cuides por mí con tu imagen. Cuídame de hechazanzas, like, I guess that would be, we'll see, the prayer is in Spanish, but I can write it for y'all in english um telling her to take care of us whenever somebody's trying to harm us when we're in danger um and make sure that nothing that we are not needy of anything you know that we need in hard times give us strength so we won't fail and um we ask of it with devotion and with love uh, from you. Amen. I will write this prayer for y'all in English. I will translate it, okay? Uh, so we pray this. We light the candle. Right. We're going to leave it there for three to four hours. Okay, open it there so that the candle will consecrate it. That's what we're doing with the candle, okay? So after four hours, if the candle has not run out, okay? We're going to leave it on, and we are going to take our dije, 
our chain, our necklace, whatever you want to call it, and close it up again. And we are going to take it again to our dark place and put it up, okay? We're going to let this candle run out, okay? The next day, we are going to turn on another white candle. We no longer need to bring this out. We need to leave it in the dark place, okay? But we are going to turn on another candle and we are going to recite our prayer again, okay, the next day. When this candle runs out on that second day, on the third day, we are going to turn on another white candle, okay? Has to be for three days. And we're going to recite our prayer again and let that candle run out. Once that candle runs out, then our dije, our necklace is already activated and it's ready for us to wear and we know for a fact that it's going to be protecting us and it's not just going to be something else that we're just wearing as a jewelry piece okay it's going to be a protection then we put it on okay make sure that there's a reason that when you're wearing it that nobody touches it only you because this is done to protect you if for some reason somebody else does touch it because i know some people sometimes are curious and they ask you can i touch it and sometimes it's hard to say no so they touch it you're going to have to do this ritual all over again to consecrate it so it can be activated to work for you only okay and it's also recommended that you do this like every three to four months to clean it up and take all the negative energy that already picked up while it's protecting you so it can be recharged again and work better for us okay if you have any questions please feel free to contact me and like i said i will put the prayer up in English and in Spanish for those of you who don't understand English so that we can all learn how to do this and we can activate our charm to protect us and not just be wearing another piece of jewelry, okay? Okay, guys, I've uh, really quickly taught you how to activate your uh, Santa Muerte Dije. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, write in the comments and um, we'll be glad to answer them for you uh, don't also to don't forget to subscribe uh, hit a hit the notification button so you'll be notified whenever I upload another video and uh, thank you for watching us we'll see you in the next video